Well, thanks for clicking on the video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make one of these. The first thing we need for a willow heart is obviously some willow. So I'm out here today. I've got some little snippers. All I need now is to find a willow, which I have right here. You generally find them in low lying ground that's normally quite wet. They seem to enjoy that wet, moist ground. So what I'm looking for are the really thin shoots, very thin branches. This time of year, the beginning of the year in the spring, that's when the branches are very pliable. That way when you bend them and weave them, they won't snap as much as they will do later on in the year. So this is what we're after. It's very young willow shoots, quite straight, very pliable, and uh, yeah, perfect for weaving. So these willow hearts, they're a great gift for Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, or even a birthday. So these are the willow shoots I've just collected. I'm gonna use these for weaving the heart, but what I'm also gonna use are shop-bought willow canes or willow shoots. I'll show you. So these are some willow shoots that I bought in the past. You can buy these, they come dyed in lots of different colors. All the dyes are vegetable dye, so it's all quite eco-friendly. Let's get on with making the heart. Step one, you wanna find two fairly thick shoots. So for my frame, I really want it to be pink. So I'm gonna select two fairly thick canes, like this. What I'm now gonna do is bend them outwards. So you can see now they're starting to naturally bend away from themselves. By bringing this one like this, do the same with this one. So I've got these two bent round. What I now do is I bring this shoot round from the bottom and start to twist it around the inside of the heart. There we are. Once I've reached the top, I'll then bring this back around and I'll just find somewhere where I can pull this through like this and it will then become locked off. I'm now going to do the same with the other side. So once again, bring this one around like this and then weave it around the center. Once you get to the top, you can then twist it, bring it back down, and then find somewhere to just lock it off. What I mean is find a gap where you can tuck it in and then pull it tight. You can see there's a bit sticking out there. I'll just take my, I'll just take my snippers. I'll just get rid of that. We can tidy it up at the end. So there's the beginning of my willow heart. What I'm now going to do is grab another piece of willow using my snippers. I'm just going to trim the end like this. So now that I've trimmed the end off, what I'm now going to do is insert it down into this section at the bottom, push it down like so, and then holding it quite firmly, I'm going to bend it around like this. Bend it around like this and it will start to go, it will start to twist around the outside of the heart. So bend it. One tip with willow, when you're working with willow, never fold it, never force it. Try and work it, try and ease it around. Because if you were to bend it or fold it, it would kink. So there, I've just wrapped it around once again. And then, here we are, I'm gonna wrap this one around through there, like this. And then we're back to the middle. So we're now coming back to the middle. And I'll just, I'll just continue that. I'll just keep weaving it around. Working my way down the center, I'm just twisting it down the center of this willow. Like this. And I'm always careful to, to slow, to carefully bend it and not kink it. If you kink it, it could ruin it. 
So then again, I'm just going to bend this round like this. And now I've reached the bottom of the heart. So I'll just twist it. I'll bend it back round and I'm, go, I'm going to go back up to the top and then find somewhere to just lock it off like this. Pull it tight. Remember, don't worry about all these little bits. We can trim it up at the end. So there you are. There's the beginning of our willow heart. I've done one. I'm now going to do the other side. So once again, we take our willow. And the reason why I'm putting a point on the end of the willow is because it makes it a little bit easier when it comes to slotting it in down the bottom of the heart. So this one, we want to go around that way. So I need to make sure that this piece goes down into, into there. Like so. So this willow is inserted into the bottom of the heart. And then I'm going to continue twisting this around the heart all the way up to the top and then back down the center. Another tip as well is to just make sure you're always looking at your heart because otherwise if you lose concentration, you carry on with one thing, you don't keep an eye on it, it'll go out of shape. So I'm always looking at it. If I need to bend it back down, I'll bend it back down or push it in and so on. Maybe for my next video when I do some willow weaving, I'll probably do it sitting down with a camera angle looking down so it makes it a lot clearer for you guys. Anyway, back to the heart. So now I'm going to twist this around the center of the heart. So I'll keep going down, down the center of the heart, bring this one back through. And now that I've reached the bottom of the heart, I'm going to just twist it around and then work my way back up the top like this. So while I was filming this, my camera died. Rather than stop the whole project and start again, I want to just continue. So this is what I did. First of all, I took every single shoot and I put a tip or I put a point on the end of them by cutting an angle like this. Then with the outline of my frame, what I then did was I inserted, I found a gap. So for example, right here, by, by hold, by pinching and pushing these two pieces apart. Remember, this is the frame, the frame I've twisted the willow around it. By pinching those two and pushing them apart, I can then insert a piece of willow or the cane or the shoot, whatever you want to call it. So then once it's inserted, I can hold it like this. So I'll then hold the frame and then very carefully I'll bend this round. So I then, I'll then decide, right, where do I want to go with this shoot? Well, I'll probably go up here, end up somewhere here. So again, I'm going to hold this, hold the frame, bend it around. Yes, sometimes it will snap, but that's just the nature of using a, uh, a natural material. And then once we get to the top, we can just find somewhere just to lock it off like so. By continuing this, by inserting shoots all, all around, you'll end up with a lovely heart. Remember, it's really important to make sure that your heart doesn't misfigure, doesn't go out of shape. You want to keep that heart shape as much as you can. So I did say that I brought lots of these shoots with me. These I've actually purchased in the past. I use these on my, my bushcraft courses, link in bio. I also use this at the shows I attend in the UK every year all around the country. So once again, I'm going to put a point on every single one.
now that I've done that I'm going to take one and I'm going to continue what I did with these natural shoots that I collected and it's all about trying to fill in the gaps so I've just inserted it into the bottom of the heart I'm now going to I think I'm going to take this to the top bend it round work out where I want to go so I'm just going to bend it round like that very easily and then I'm now going to, maybe I'll come across here at the back, so I'm going to hold the frame with my left hand. And again, the reason why I'm holding the frame is because if I was to just pull the wheel around, it would warp the heart, it would warp the shape of the heart. So we'll go there, maybe I'll bring this one round to there. I'll just find somewhere to lock the willow off. So I've just pressed, I've just pushed it through, and there we are. And remember, once this is finished, I'm going to trim the ends to make it look nice and tidy. And I've got another shoot, I'm going to just continue with this weaving. So it looks like there's a bit of a gap here. By pinching these two and opening them, I can then insert the willow like this. And then I want to take the willow to somewhere like here. I want to hold the outside of the frame again, bend this round like this. And again, holding the outside of the frame, bend my willow round to somewhere like here. Hold the frame, bend it round, and then find somewhere to lock it off. Remember, this is a very simple project to make great fun around the lake when you're out fishing in with the kids when you're camping it's all about making sure that the shoots you find and the shoots that you're going to use are pliable so I'm now going to try and fill this gap here what I'll do is I'll probably put a shoot in there so by pinching it I can then insert this shoot like that then I'm going to hold the outside of the frame I'm going to bend the willow round and then I'm just going to continue going all around the heart like this bend this one round again and then secure it by locking it off every so often stop and check your heart to make sure it's still heart shaped so I've got a few of these shoots left I've got four actually I've got quite a few shoots in this and I'm just going to continue until I've used them all up you can use as many of these shoots as you want. So I'm now looking for a gap. Maybe I'll start with one here going straight down. So again, just to show you how to insert one of these shoots. I'm going to pinch this. And then this is why we cut these at an angle. So that you can force these through quite easily. Then we're going to go somewhere like down here. Hold the outside of the frame. Uh, maybe we'll go here, go here, once we've done that we'll go, we'll work our way back up, we'll go there, maybe we'll then twist it to here, and then find somewhere to then lock it off. Again, check the heart, check the shape. If it starts to warp on one side, you can bend it to bring it back to life. And remember, all of these shoots we're gonna trim off at the end. So this shoot, I'm gonna place through there. We're then gonna go somewhere like down here. Hold the outside of the frame, twist it round, work out where you wanna go with it. Like this, like this. You're pretty much just wrapping these canes around the outside of the frame. Once you've wrapped them around, once you reach the end, you can then secure them like this, pull them tight, and then they lock in. What I also like to do with these is to, is to get some string, and then I take a piece of wood and I saw the wood at an angle to make a small disc at an angle. A bit like one of those posh carrots you get in the restaurant, how they cut them at an angle. So with a string and a piece of wood, cut at an angle, I'll then tie a knot, have this piece of wood, and write the name of a loved one. That's one idea you can do. So I've got two shoots left, I'm gonna continue. this around there
then this one around there, and to there, and back down, back down to the bottom, we come back around the top. Okay, last one. Got up there. Bend this around there. Maybe go up to the top of this one. And then once I reach the end, I'll just find somewhere to once again lock it off and secure it like this. And there we are. So if it's slightly out of shape, you can quite forcefully bring it back to the shape you want it to be. Now this willow it's a great material, it's quite forgiving, so you can really give it some, well sometimes if it's, if it's good, if it's a good quality willow, you can really give it some bending and it won't snap, whereas uh, if it's dry it might well snap. It's quite windy today, I do apologise if there's wind noise from the microphone. So once you're happy with the shape of your heart, then what you can do is bring your snippers and just trim off the excess. So I'm going to go around and all these shoots that are sticking out, I'm going to just get rid of. So there we have it. I'm pretty happy with that. Just trim it off a little bit more. Wherever you think there's a bit that sticks out, you can get the snippers out and just trim it down. Remember, this is a very basic, easy project. I'm gonna try and show you guys how to make more things out of willow. This is video number one of my willow weaving. Please subscribe for more videos where I'll be showing you how to make things out of willow. So remember, I've used two types of willow here. One type of willow I've bought you can have a look online, you'll probably find somewhere local to you that grows and sells willow. There's a good chance that you'll be able to buy dyed willow, or if not, have a look online. The other type of willow I've used is natural willow that I found just down there by the stream in that damp area where there's lots of willow that grows. But as you can see, it doesn't take long to make one of these. Once it dries, it becomes nice and secure, it holds tight. And uh, yeah, a great project, great for anyone to get involved with. So I just want to say, Thanks for watching the video, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, I'll be back soon, one day, I'm not sure, but it'll definitely be another irregular upload where I'll be showing you guys how to make something else. Well, that's the Valentine's present sorted. <laughs>